Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number. 40. Just give me one second. 46. Today is our lesson number 46. I do not know why I did not take care of it before I started the video. Day number 46. Day 3046. 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 46. Today we'll discuss the topic that you will find on page number 255 that is the notion of line of symmetry and a mirror image of a given line a reflection of a line if we're if we're given an equation of a line we plot it on the Cartesian coordinate system uh, question is what does it mirror image look like and how do we go about plotting it and how do we go about getting its equation that's what we're going to talk about so let's first start with this thing line of symmetry what exactly is a line of symmetry? We'll worry about reflection in a second. What exactly is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is essentially a, a line that is drawn, a line of symmetry is essentially a line that is drawn at a 45 degree angle in the Cartesian coordinate system. That's what it is. A line of symmetry, a line drawn, a line drawn, A line drawn at 45 degree from the origin. It has to be from the origin, obviously. In the in the Cartesian coordinate system. Such a line is called a line of symmetry, and it has an equation. It has an equation of x equals y. X equals y. First thing first. First, I want to make sure that we know how to pronounce this word because many a times I have heard people mispronounce it. So I'm going to put down the pronunciation for us, even though it may seem silly. The first syllable is car. Car. Second level is T, car, T, Zun. Cartesian. Cartesian coordinate system. Don't pronounce it as, don't, do not pronounce that as Cartesian. That is not the correct pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is what we see on the blackboard. Cartesian. Cartesian coordinate system. We are looking for a line that has an equation of x is equal to y. Let's plot it here. See what it looks like. x equals to y. And as we plot it, we will see that because x equals y, we're dealing with an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle, of course, uh, where the two sides are equal to each other, it's going to be 45 degree angle. So here we go. When x is one, x is one, one, two, three, one, two, three, if you like. When x is one, y is one. That is the first one. When x is two, y is two. When y, when x is equal to three, y is equal to three and so on and so forth, when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 1, and so on and so forth, this line, this line that we have, it forms a 45 degree angle, and of course it continues, it continues, and it forms a 45 degree angle. This angle is 45 degrees, and this is called the line of symmetry because everything is going to be symmetric around it it's going to be mirror image mirror image of each other uh, the reflection if you like of each other so now let's talk about the reflection what exactly we're done with this thing we don't need it anymore besides we need the room so here it goes now we're going to talk about the reflection how do we go about finding 
an equation of a line that happens to be a reflection of another line that is given to us. For example, here we have 2.8.4 on page number 255. We're given the equation y is equal to 2x plus 5. Let's call this L1 for our original line. If we interchange, if we interchange, interchanging, interchanging x and the y, interchanging x and y will give us an equation of a line, of the line rather, that is a mirror image, or if you like, reflection of our original line L1. If we simply take if we simply take the original line L1 and wherever we see X we replace it with Y and wherever we see Y if we replace it with X if we interchange the X and the Y the new equation that we'll get will, will be the equation of the line which will be the mirror image of the original line mirror image the reflection. So here the L1 was right here, so our L2 is simply going to be, this is y equals, let's put the L1 first so we can so we can line them up properly and we can see them better. So here is our original line L1, which is right here, L1, right here. This is y is equal to 2x plus 5. Well, the second line that we're looking for, the line that is the reflection is that's going to be the reflection of the original line is simply going to be x equal to 2y plus 5. Wherever we see wherever we see x, we replace with y, wherever we see y, we replace with x. Of course we can't leave it like this, we have to put it in the standard form in the slope intercept form. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to put it in the slope intercept form. So we'll bring the 5 here. So we end up with this implies that 2y must equal x minus 5, x minus 5. Divide both sides by 2. If you divide both sides by 2, we'll find that we'll have half of x minus 5 half. And this equation that we see there is the mirror image of this equation right here. Let's plot them both, shall we? Let's plot both of them. Let's plot both of them. We need the room. Where can, we, where can we insert the work? So one more time, how do we find the reflection of a line? It's very simple. Simply interchange the x and the y in the original equation and it will produce automatically a mirror image, a reflection of that line. Let's plot them together. Let's work on the L1 first. So when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, y is going to be 5. So it goes to 0, 5, 0, 5, and when x is equal to 0, y is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere here. And then when y is equal to 0, we done with this one. When y is equal to 0, x, 2x plus 5, 2x, 2x plus 5 equals 0, which means 2x must equal negative 5, which means x must equal negative 5 halves. And when y is equal to 0. y is 0 along the x-axis. We're looking for negative 2 and a half. 5 halves is negative 2 and a half. There is 1, there is 2, there is 2, 3. So negative 2 and a half is going to be right in the center right here. This point and that point. This is our line we're looking for. Oh, this, that's not going to come out very nice. My hand slips. Because you see the blackboard is a little slippery. The surface. The surface is very smooth. Okay. Let's plot the other one. Enough of that. Let's plot the bottom one here. L2 now. L2 is right here. Y is equal to minus half x minus negative 5 halves. When x is equal to 0, 
when x is equal to 0, y is going to be negative 5x, when x is equal to 0, we're looking because when x is 0, x is 0 along y axis, negative 2 and a half, there is 1, there is 2, there is 3, so the negative 2 and a half is going to be somewhere here. So that's one point. Now let's put down y equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, I'm going to end up with 1 half x equals 5 halves. Bring the 5 half to that side, which means x is going to be equal to 5. Half x equals it's going to be 5 half, therefore x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 0. x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Somewhere here. the line of symmetry. Ah, see this is not drawn very this is not drawn very nicely, not not drawn too much to scale. I'm gonna do it now freehand because of course it has to cut through here and it's gonna go nicely. I'm just gonna plot it freehand, the line of symmetry that is, because it has to look nice. If mine is not drawn to scale it doesn't come out very nice. It should go something like this. This is a 45 degree angle. And this is the line of symmetry. Because the bloody surface is so slippery, it just goes all over. But can you see, are you able to see right away that it does look symmetric along this line? Along this line, there is a symmetry. They're symmetric. They're mirror image. This is two and a half here. This is two and a half here. This is five. That's five over there. They're mirror image. Everywhere they're mirror image. Do you understand? And there you go. This is the line of symmetry. It's right here. This black line. This black line is the line of symmetry. The blue line was our original line. And the green is the reflection. And that's exactly what you see there in the book. Mine doesn't look as pretty as theirs, but that's what it is. And they have the they have the line of symmetry as a dotted line, but the same thing. This is a 45 degree angle. Right here. This angle is 45 degree angle right here. That was it. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Well, I don't know. If you give me a second, I'll tell you. Tomorrow is gonna be our lesson number 47, and we'll deal with parabola quadratic equation. How do we go about graphing quadratic equation? In other words, how do we go about plotting parabolas? Or to put another way, if you are given a quadratic equation, if we are given a quadratic equation, do we know how to handle it so that we can transform into, uh, into, into a shape, uh, I was going to say transform into a form, but that sounds so silly, so that we can change it so that we can we can manipulate rather let's let's use the word manipulate do we know if you're given an equation of, if, if you're given a quadratic equation do we know how to manipulate it to so that we are able to transform it in a form that uh, gives us the x-intercepts do we know how to identify the coordinates of its vertex do we know how to immediately identify the line of symmetry and and, and so on and so forth that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow which is the parabola as i said graphing quadratic equation which is same as saying graphing a parabola. That's our next topic, which is what you will see on the next page, on page number 255. Do you understand? And after that, we'll talk about the equation of the circle, and then we'll then then we have a couple of other topics, and then we get to the exercises. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.